can still hear it a little bit, kind of getting over it. All right, well, you know what? Time marches on, and we got to continue with our progress here of uh, learning what we're talking about in terms of photography. Today we're going to tackle normal lenses. We're talking about prime lenses as opposed to a zoom lens. A zoom lens has a multiple range of focal lengths. A prime lens has one focal length. If that doesn't make any sense to you, look up what a focal length is. Um, so, so back in the day when the MX over here was a popular camera, well, back when manual focus prime lenses, back in the 70s, 80s, you know, back in the film era, okay, a normal lens was considered 50 millimeters, okay? That's, that's the focal length, was 50 millimeters. So, there was your frame of uh, 35 millimeter, your 35 millimeter frame, and the lens through an image circle onto the, this is looking down the throat of the camera, okay? Let's pop the lens off. <clears throat> so that's looking down there, right? Okay, there's the circle. The lens throws the image circle. All right, so um, the full frame film was 24 millimeter by 36 millimeter, and somehow they got the name 35 millimeter out of that. And a normal field of view on that frame was 50 millimeters. Okay, well, <clears throat> now that digital's come along, you can get full frame cameras, and then a 50 millimeter lens is your normal. Okay, but when digital cameras came along, we got the crop. And most of your digital cameras, except for a few of your real high-end professional cameras, are crop cameras. And the crop cameras put the sensor that size in the middle, and they tend to be about 15 by 22. Okay, so all of a sudden, you're, instead of getting the wide view, you're losing all of this, right? So your 50 millimeter lens now has become a 35. Okay, so back in the film days, a normal lens was 50 millimeter. All right, now nothing's changed since the film days if you're shooting a full frame camera. Chances are, if you have the money, which is 2000 plus, to buy a full frame digital camera, you're, you don't need this tutorial. If you have that kind of money to throw around, you should know what you're doing. Okay, all right, so we're going to talk about crop cameras okay or FX cameras or DA cameras depending upon the brand EFS cameras in in Canon alright so normal see there's that cold okay so a normal lens for our digital cameras that are not full frame okay first of all let's define normal well 35 millimeter first we're going to talk about full frame 35 millimeter and wider is considered wide angle. So what's wider? 28, 24, okay? Those, are, those would be considered wide angle. Above 50, above 60, 65, 70, let's go 55, 60, okay? 60 and higher is considered tele, telephoto, all right? So wide angle telephoto. So normal is somewhere in this range between 35 and 60. This is normal. Okay, standard was a 50. Okay, here is a limited FA Pentax full frame, 43 millimeter. This would be considered a normal lens on a full frame camera. Okay. Guess what? It's also considered a normal. Well, let's not let's not go there. But it's also considered a normal lens. Could be considered a normal lens on a crop camera. So now let's readjust, and let's talk about normal on a crop camera. <coughs> Pardon me. See, there's that cold. It's terrible. Okay. Normal on a crop camera is somewhere around 35 millimeter. So I would say from 28 to about 45. This is starting to get long. So above that is telephoto, below that is wide angle. All right. And uh, so this would be like a, a wide normal, that would be a tele normal. The 43 is a little long. It's in the 60 range on a crop camera. The 21 
Now the 21 limited, that's starting to become, at 21, that's starting to equal 35 millimeter in 35 millimeter in full frame. So that's starting to become a wide angle. You know, now some people consider a 35 millimeter wide angle a normal lens. So it's really preference. And some people like a longer normal. So they like a 60, you know, which would be a 43. I know this is confusing. So let me, let me convert over. We're going to talk about just crop cameras now, all right? So any, so 21 would be a wide angle. Once you get to about 28, you're starting to get normal. 45 is still normal. Okay, 35 is really right in the center. Okay, of normal. 30, 31, Pentax makes a 31 millimeter, which is almost, ironically, it's a wide angle for full frame, but uh, because it is a full frame limited FA lens, but it is a normal lens, uh, almost a perfect normal lens on the crop camera. Okay, now, so what do I use for a normal lens? Well, right now, because, uh, now here's a trade-off, okay. So on the film, in the film days, I used a 51.4 Pentax, right? Okay, great lens, fantastic. Did everything I wanted it to do. Nowadays, I'm using the DA2835 Macro, okay? And it's a 2.8, it's not a 1.4, but here's the deal, okay? Film, in the film days, like, you know, we're talking about Fuji Velvia 50. With this camera, I can shoot up to 1600. So the 2814, that's not that important for in terms of uh, light gathering. What is important though is the selective depth of field. And you know what? If I get into a situation where I need to do that kind of stuff, if I'm doing portraits, I'm gonna switch out to a different lens. But I like the close focusing trade-off of the slower lens for 2.8. So I like the macro and if I really get stuck and it's the only lens I got and I'm doing a portrait or something, I can add some blur or something in Photoshop. So that's not a big deal to me. So right now, that's the lens I'm using. I'm debating on whether or not to pick up this 31, and I probably will someday. But what I, one of the things I don't like about it on the 31, it's the only Pentax limited lens I'm really not that. It's, it's stellar optically. Okay, it's world-class stellar optically. I'm not crazy about it because of uh, the lens that is fixed and I can't put my filter adapters on it, but I should be able to rig something. I just don't feel like dealing with it. The 35 macro is doing it for me. So anyway, that's Ed with Photo Universe. Um, this uh, brief touching on normal lenses. I hope it wasn't too confusing. Um, 35 millimeter for crop, 50 millimeter for full frame is kind of right where you want to be for normal. All right, have a good one, and hopefully this cold will go away. It's I'm feeling a lot better right now, but still hanging in there a little bit. All right, have a good one. Talk to you later.